Hello everyone, I'm Miss Kim from the Islay Public Library. This is week 6 in the final week of a King's Craft Corner Spring Session. So, let's make something fun. We will make edible craft together. We will be using some ingredients that are commonly found in our kitchens and will make easy but creative edible craft. Here's what you will need. Some bananas, oranges, apple, blueberries, strawberry, grapes, cherry tomatoes, eggs, cu cucumber, celery sticks, brown bread, cheese bread, cream cheese bread, peanut butter, whipped, crisp, uh, whipped cream, with frosting and sparkle sugar. You can use other ingredients if you like. Okay, let's start by filling celery sticks with peanut butter or cream cheese. Then put some bread crepes on the celery stick here with this in a green grape here and put some cream cheese on the green grape and stick the tiny raisins on it for the eyes and put two thinly sliced carrot sticks for the end doesn't it look like an ant or a caterpillar And you can use cherry tomatoes instead of grapes. To make a snail, I made a mess here. Fill the celery stick with peanut butter or cream cheese. Put a thinly sliced apple. Thin sliced pepper in it and make a hat like you did it before. And you can fill oops, celery stick with cream cheese and use a cucumber slice to make a snail. And now we will make animal faces with brown bread. Spread peanut butter on a slice of brown bread. Put two banana slices here and here for the ears. Put two blueberries or raisins here and here for the eye. And use a banana slice and a raisin Ta-da! Here's your teddy bear to make it pretty use some strawberry two strawberry slices for the food dye Here you go. To make a monkey face, 
spread peanut butter on the brown bread. Use two blueberries for the eyes. Let's use a bigger one, okay. In use two semicircle sheep banana slides here and here but those here and here for the ears and to use two semicircle shape banana slides for the mouth so here's your little monkey If you are allergic to peanut butter, just use a plain brown bread. I will show you. How to make a brown bread craft without using uh, without using peanut butter. the corners of the brown bread like this put the cut parts here like this then mix up. okay use two thinly sliced cucumbers and put those on the face Put two blueberries in the center of the cucumber slice, each on each slice. Then use a triangle shape, two slides, like this. Here's your edible our craft. Now, let's make some edible craft with eggs. You will need hard boiled eggs. Cut an egg, cut an hard boiled egg in half. Put it on a plate like this. Then put two small raisins on the face for the eyes. I'm going to stick it here. Then put two carrot sheep here for the ears. Put some whiskers. In finally, put a cilantro stem for the tail. Use your little mouse in. Put 
to essence here and here for the eye then uh, some cilantro stems for whisker Here's the whiskers. Then, let's see. In some ears. Some ears here. In. This is your egg craft and you can make a fruit a palm tree with some kiwi slices, orange slices and a banana. Peel a banana. It in the center, like this, and make some marks here. It will look like a palm tree. Here's your edible palm tree craft. You can make a boat craft with the fruit. Use a thick slice of apple and a cheese slice. Use a long toothpick, toothpick and for the uh, strawberry on top of it and your boat is ready to set sail. Here's one more example of fruit craft. This is your rocket edible craft. You can use blueberries, strawberries, and green grapes. You can have fun making edible craft with pretzel sticks. Spoon whip frosting on a celery st uh, pretzel stick. So spoon whip frosting on a celery stick. Spoon whip frosting on a pretzel stick. Make room to hold it. Let's make one more.
Then pour the sparkle sugar on the pretzel stick. Isn't it fun? Then let it dry. What color shall we use? How about the yellow sparkled sugar? Here's your magic wand. Let them dry for a few minutes. I hope you enjoy making edible crafts today. Since Mother's Day is around the corner, make some edible crafts for your mom on Mother's Day with what you have learned today. Enjoy the rest of the spring. See you in June. Bye now.